Recording, recording, recording. Ready to party? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to another hardworking heartache, new daddy don't dick around, boredom brethren, bush latte, backwashing, gentrification of this gentleman's genitalia, Uncle Gary bought a shark with a freaking laser beam on its head episode of the day's grim. My name is Brian Michael Day. My name is Thomas Grimm. I'm going to go ahead and hit it right off the rip. Do it. Uh, please, everyone, give a round of applause and help me welcome into the studio today, Zach Berenson. How are you, sir? Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy. What's up, guys? I like a good dramatic pause. I've been working right, on it. Absolutely. I'm really just. I'm really just keeping the listener guessing at this Abs- point. You know. You know. I seen the little the, the little chest flick there. Where you? Where you? You know. You know. Stretching out the pecs, you know, doing the one, two, one, two. Maybe Dwayne The Rock Johnson, just a lot wider. I feel like I could go one more button down, too, but then for sure I'm going to get picked up somewhere. Right. You know what I'm saying? Get touched by some Catholics. My kid would sleep on those tits for sure. Seriously, dude. There are Thomas is right, though. There's a lot of Catholics around here. Look, I gave her a good (laughs) handful when I grabbed in because uh, it's America's ass. Dude, um, do Catholics make you nervous? I'm Catholic. And I'm so you're just, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah those fucking people, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, those fucking people. No. Oh, my people. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah, dude, they're Every, funny people, man. Jews um, will get you. Uh, dude, I'll tell you what, man. They'll I got, sneak up on you, just I, not in the back of the oven. Uh, no, 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 for sure. They'll sneak up on you in your bank account. Dude, I got a, uh, a Jewish friend. She's like three quarters Jewish. She like kind of goes to the synagogue like once a year for like... To sacrifice That's me. A I'm lamp. a shitty Catholic. I, I go to the church like... Once a year, maybe I, twice. I'm a thorough believer of I can worship God here in look, my house. Look, Jesus is in my head. Yeah, and my heart. I got yeah. I, I've got my own Jesus. You've got your own Jesus. Yeah, man. That's all I'm saying, dude. Right. So I mean, you know, worship. Uh, Mine's a little bit more Manuel. All right. Leave yeah, me alone. yeah. A little Manuel, a little Jesus Cristo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. How have you been? You doing okay? Oh, it's when, when did we have you on? You came on. Jesus uh, Murphy. Yeah, you were in the a year ago. You were in the like, beginning. You guys were having your little baby steps, like you said, on the you seventh, toe in the water, and then the I came seventh. in here and just <laughs> dropped bombs. On the seventh day, we had Zach Berenson. Naked. On the, on the casting couch. Fully nude. You were nude. You did full frontal male nudity. I'm a big fan of that, by the way. What was that line in uh, uh, oh, Talladega Nights where he was like, oh, I, I, I put put a thong on and I spread my butt cheeks. <laughs> Spread my butt cheeks. It's Spread my concho. My, it's my concho. You know, I'm not proud of that, but 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 I did that. I just but, wanted you to know that. I sprayed my butt cheeks. Did they ever, did they call you for casting for that movie or no? No. They no, didn't. If they were going to cast me, it'd be a lot, a lot shittier movie. I, I feel like you would have fit really well in Talladega Nights yeah. and, and or Joe Dirt. Yeah, I would have brought like a little decent side character. You Both of them. You ever seen radio? Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. <laughs> I want both. Yeah, both Where are my pie? Both of them. Dude, I haven't seen. I haven't seen that movie in freaking in forever, dude. Yeah, no, but for real though, my whole last month has been extremely intriguing. Um, damn, dude. So uh, we've look. made a lot of upgrades to the studio too since you last come in, dude. Dude, this we place has came leaps and bounds. We got a feng shui in here now, dude. Feng shui. You look like Mag Daddy Feng Shui, <laughs> dude. Thomas taught me how to do it, man. He looks like the old guy off of Dragon Ball. You just need the fucking cane. I told him he needed a fish. He looks like the fucking old guy off of Dragon Ball. I like, if that's need... what you were going for, man, I'll be your Goku. Yeah, dude, that's what's up, dude. I'll be I'll be your old man with a cane. Right, God, absolutely. Dude. I told yeah. him he needed a fanny pack. Dude, I got one in Florida, and they're fucking nice. They're like, sick. I could put, you could put so much shit in those motherfuckers. You like convert like, to like what are they marsupials? 
Yeah, you're a marsupial at that point. My right. wife made fun of me. I wear fucking cut off jean shorts, my fanny pack, flip flops all the time. It's great. That's amazing. That's right. a good look. It's look, coming back in a I've big way. I've got the mullet. Like I'm the trying to bring the eighties back. The I'm underwear just dragging this fucking ball and shorts. And you have pit vipers as well, don't you? No, actually, I never own a pair. Oh, I, thought... I bought some really cheap knockoff ones that had like the little lightning bolts. Oh yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. That's yeah, what yeah, I mean. yeah. I got a few of those. That's a vibe, dude. Yeah, really I wear them on my back. mower, drunk. <laughs> I, I just don't I don't drink anymore, guys. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. No, I drink probably Get high as shit and mow the lawn. <laughs> yeah. I drink t- I drink too much as is. I think I'm trying to dial it down. And drinking in the JK. sun really fucks you. <sighs> dude, like, dude, I, I went, don't miss those fucking it's so days good, at though. all. It's so good though. I went, Sunshine no. and booze. Yeah, but I went to like a NASCAR race and you just sit there and watch them go around and around and around and you're you, you can bring it's, in your own cooler. Did you go to and, Talladega this weekend? No. NASCAR was so much cooler when they actually drove stock cars and they actually did man shit, like take stock cars and then just make them fast. Right. Like there used to be real men that would get out of the fucking car, like the windshield popped out. And there's this picture of this guy and he's running the fucking carburetor because the pedal got fucked up from the front of the car through the windshield over the finish line like a fucking man. Just working this shit out. You don't of it. get that shit nowadays. See, he I'm just, trying to bring that shit back. There's just nothing but a bunch of pussies in America, and it's terrible. I'm not right. bleeping that word either. No, they deserve it. Just they, know we did. We did. We, we spoke a little earlier before the show started. Oh yeah, we're we, gonna try we, and keep it. Christian. We want to keep it a little Christian. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> we already talked about. You're gonna keep it a little. Christian. I already told you you're gonna fuck this up for me. Well, and then, um, yeah, hundred percent. Also, I'm, okay. I'm not bleeping any of your words. Mm. Uh, we did talk about editing, so I have one word that we're gonna bleep, but I'll let you know after I drop it. Oh God, you make me nervous. Oh, it's it's not profanity. I'm gonna get a DM. Like I'm gonna get another DM. Like we're gonna get a cease and desist. <laughs> we're, we're gonna you're gonna have to like you remember those people that get a, like what is it like ghosted or whatever like social media whatever they call it. Oh, when you're freaking where they, where they have to like shadow spell, bands. Yeah, they have to spell out like your full name, and then it doesn't pull up in the search bar. That's us, right? Uh, yeah, dude. So just don't make it anything um, that has to do with the Asians. The, the Asian community is <laughs> look. They've 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 had enough. They've right. been through enough. Okay, <laughs> they, they've they've Can been get one through of those, enough. Give me one of those super sick coasters, man. Right. Oh, you hit him with the. Oh, do you want to roll into the? You remember the death of the week? Yeah, that one. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Who died? Uh, dude, well, let me... Bug. Who done did? <laughs> Died. Let's just go ahead and talk about... Done killed some. This week's Death of the Week, hey. brought to you by these super sick coasters, and no one was harmed in the making of these coasters, or distribution. Uh, Corn Dog Development, check them out on Etsy. The Days Grim promo code saved you, I think, 20%. Hit them up. 10. 10%. Link is in the description of the show. Um, this week, man, it's not great. It's not looking good for Wisconsin. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, man. Uh, and these are your people. <laughs> these are your ever. people. Um, yeah, it is. One person has died after authorities say he was trapped in a gravel pit. Now, most of us already know where this story is going, but essentially, here's what happens. Taylor County Sheriff's Office says their dispatch center received multiple calls before 9:30 Friday morning of a deceased subject that was found in a gravel pit on County Road A-T. Now, detectives, along with other first responders, found a man trapped in a hopper covered in gravel. The emergency first responders worked to free the man. Once he was freed, it was determined that he had died. No he shit. was identified as 25-year-old... Think Not he, even close. I think he's Polish. <laughs> it doesn't matter because he bleeps it anyway. Right. The sheriff's office says the preliminary investigation indicates that <laughs> was working in the gravel pit and at some point entered the hopper bin. The gravel collapsed around him, trapping him. Yeah, that's why you don't get in tight spaces. That's not OSHA regulated, bruh. No. That is not OSHA certified work, to be honest with you. I just don't know this, what makes you think that you're going to go stand on top of this pile of rocks and a bin. I could promise you there's very, very many times that I should have been the death of the week dude. that I'm, I wasn't. Do you ever work with grain? Uh, yeah. Have I used you to worked work on a farm? 
Yeah. Yeah, like when you get in those silos with like oh, it's... so deep of grain or whatever, I always get a little nervous, dude. Oh, dude, I've been at the bottom of uh, like all of the. I used to move all of ADM's grain. So with, yeah, that's where I used to. Yeah, work. super so I dicey. I used to move ADM's grain back and forth, but uh, when I was running a back rig a year or two ago, um, we used to have to go to these grain bins a lot. And when they'd have spillage through the year or whatever, we'd have to go up into the uh, the elevators and go down, you know, two or three stories and suck out all their, you know, all the old elevator bullshit where they leak. So I, I sucking up rats with fucking tubes and oh shit. that's the best <laughs> oh, dude. dude it was awesome. I do I do I do apologize for for this one being a rather short death of the week. Um, normally they're a little bit longer and a little bit crazier, but I know you've had experience with gravel, and I was like, let me get one with some gravel. Right, I was just thinking confined space. Like I, it would have been more inter- interesting if it was like innocent bystander with five gallon bucket at Rock Yard gets ran over by Uke. Also, I think I saw that story. That was on CNN. <laughs> um, but I bypassed that. Because there's a lot of one. times I've been in the gravel yard trying to run people over. Cause Dude, I, I don't know. What... I watched a guy with a Porsche go to the gravel yard, weigh in, and then take a five-gallon bucket out of the front of his Porsche's hood and start filling it full of gravel. I'm like, this motherfucker, these people, hey, there's different breeds in Newburgh, man. Wiling out, dude. Also, the only place in the tri-state area you'll probably find a Porsche. Um, (laughs) That being said, uh, uh, though you are Polish, just know that you are gone and also forgotten. Until we remember you today. Dude, Zach Berenson, man. Dude, that guy's life. I mean, <laughs> that rock really rocked his at world. At 25, bro. That would piss me off if I died at 25. Yeah. If I d- had died at 25 past That tense. really put him between a rock and a hard place. But, um... <laughs> Damn, dude. I wish I had, like, a... Dude, I've got all the dad jokes I don't think for the he, death I don't of the think... week. Like, last time, I was, like, the floor is lava, and it was perfect. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Forgot about that one, didn't you? <laughs> Christ, I love you so much, man. I'm glad that I don't care if uh, our beautiful minds. Need people to get are going to see your name often. and be like, "Oh yeah, this is the guy that did full frontal nudity last time that we didn't get to see." Uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. By the, the way, I've got a wife and kids now. It's frowned upon. Well, I think frowned upon. Little kid. That's yeah. That's probably the safest way to put it. Yeah, dude, we've done a lot of things since the last podcast. I've had yeah. a kid. You got married. I did. Yeah, I did. I got married after we started this. You podcast. guys have started doing your triathlon stuff. Yeah, Thomas. Is that thing ever going to happen, by the way? <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to happen in like August. <laughs> like, if you guys don't do this triathlon yeah. soon, I'm like really we, just disappointed. We've been training for <laughs> seven years. I don't. That's <laughs> what it feels like. <laughs> we're training for this event that actually doesn't exist, but we're training uh, for it. Yeah, it's yeah, supposed dude. to be in August. Yeah, it's August, the weekend of August 8th. I forget whatever that Sunday is, but it's the Sunday of the weekend of August 8th. I think it might be the 8th or the 9th. I can't remember, but I took the following Monday I off. really hope you guys lose miserably. And oh, I'm going to lose. Not for, not for your guys' sake, just but just so you guys could, yeah, just, just so you guys me. can like, yeah, you know, train for the next to, 10 years. I'm just trying to compete, like complete. Even if it takes me like six hours, right? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna compete it, or they'll be close enough to the finish line, and I'll be trying to come across. I need it. A I can light. tell That's you what that means. I can tell when you I start right stuttering. now. I know exactly what that feels like. Yesterday, I literally mm. uh, almost de died. Well, let's not get into that. Let's get into now. One uh, thing I do want to cover. Save that for the show. And tell one us. thing I do want to uh, cover is that a ten four. Uh, one thing I want to cover is that last time we, your last episode, we were, like you said earlier, we were still figuring this podcast thing out. We now were. we have much more structure. Mm-hmm. We're much more tidied away now. Um, and Our one thing, buttholes are so tighter. We've been yeah. doing Kegels. Unlike my brother Corey's, who, who gets looser by the day. I don't know how. God bless you. Thank you. Um, his butthole just seems to get looser every day, every time I see him. But that being said, um, we're tightening up here on the days, Grim. And one thing we like to do is just kind of run the guests or, or, or run the listeners and the viewers rather through a timeline. Absolutely. And we didn't get to do that with you. So let's no. just let's go tit to tat from the tip to the taint. Let's figure out who Zach Berenson is. What are we from the taint to the tip? Uh, what do you prefer? Do you prefer from the taint to the tip or tip to the taint? I mean, you know, if you work from the top down and then you go bottom up and then back top down. Oh, I, I thought mean, you, you know, said it could get the, real interesting. Yeah, he's doing I thought laps. you said from the tit to the taint. I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured you came out you of a taint and then you went tank. to the tip. It, it got real confusing. I really enjoy how hard the both of you are thinking about this. And it just makes me happy on the inside. Right. 
Absolutely. Are you f- born and raised in Evansville, Indiana? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, All right, so let's get into raised, it, dude. Born Evansville, and raised. Indiana. Um, what side of town? Because that fucking matters. Okay, so that, that's where it gets weird. So my parents never married, ever. Um, so <laughs> that, just fucking that, not. Yeah, didn't. that immediately just started life real fucking interesting, right? Yeah. Um, God. I'm trying to figure out what I can dive into, and what I can't. What's, what's mama? Uh, what's mama's name and what's dad's? Okay, name? so my mom's name's Betty. My dad's name Eric. Um, Dang, now, dude. So they never married. Um, so I come hey, from a split hey, family. Hey, hey, hey. On one hey. side, uh, we've got. I think he's got a cat. Three home. kids. <laughs> I got two. You're on fucked. one side, we got three kids, and yeah. uh, on the other side, we had three kids. On one side, uh, we all got different moms. On one side, we all got different dads. Damn. I've got three sisters and a brother. Um, I think it's it two way sisters. Confusing. No, I got it three. It does get confusing. I had like one sister that like, locked herself in her basement for like 20 years, and then like finally came out, and now she's just superhuman. It's awesome. She's gay? Yeah. Dope. For real. Sick. Yeah. I fucking love that, dude. Right. Like, um, she just, flying color, she's awesome. I got, a, I got a buddy of mine. I say a buddy of mine. I won't say her name, but. He's gay? Like, oh, yeah, she's gay. Oh, cool. He, But she? I keep saying he. She. She just came out, like, not too long ago. And, dude, it was just like. It's the best thing. Dude, she, I love watching she's people mutual blossom. friends between Kristen and I. More Kristen's friend than mine, but yep. we bonded tightly. And I think she's learning to love me more than Kristen now. So that being said, but like there were just high fives all around. Like, right. I, dude, I love a good gay. Dude, I love like a dope gay. Like someone that's cool to hang out with. You know some, what I'm saying? Some Fordham <laughs> live came into my work today for the jeweler's hand pieces for mm-hmm. the Fordham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was uh, like lube and it came in like a syringe or whatever. <laughs> and it had a rainbow flag on it. That's dope. Dude, I got rainbow flags all over here, dude. But I just thought right. it was comical that it was on. Or not flags, stickers. A flag right. shaft. So we just got so lost on my gay sister. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, sorry. Hey, hats off okay. to her. Glad, she, right. no, glad she's comfortable she's in her own skin because yeah, that's absolutely. what life's all about. Oh, no. No, I'm um, so proud of that girl. So she's, you got three fucking sisters. Well, three multiple sisters. siblings So like, I mostly got like hand-me-downs for my sisters when I was a kid. You were just wearing all their jeans and t-shirts? No, like, like my first bike was like a Barbie bike. <laughs> and then... Oh, oh, I'm not kidding. Like, I didn't think anything of it. I was a kid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And then, like, I, I can remember uh, being a kid. I remember vaguely, like, when my dad got me into dirt bikes and shit. I was, uh, I want to yeah, say I was, young. like, five or less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He put me on a 50. I rode a 50 around. Loved it. You did good. Um, so then we went to a 100. And then loved that. So then, and this was at like one of my dad's buddy's houses or something. My dad would get, like, trash at this fucking place. And... On the way home at night, he'd let me drive and shift gears, and he'd just operate the brake pedal. And like, little did I he know, just he won't... was just hammered. Yeah, and I was just getting us home. But I mean, we—I thought we were having a good time. He probably just thought you were the remember, best driver for the job. Yeah, absolutely. I remember sleeping on the back of his sissy bar. We'd be riding the nine hundred, and like you know, little things. Now that I have a kid, that I didn't think about, it, but I remember always begging my dad to go fast on the street bike when we go out. Oh, we'd yeah. always just go out oh, and blast, yeah. and we'd be flying around everywhere. You did. Uh, we've missed the question though. What side of town did you grow up on? Uh, you said it gets so weird. It gets real weird because... Uh, <laughs> what do you claim? Dude, I've lived everywhere. Like, I'm not kidding you. I'm from Jim... You're like Johnny I'm, Cash, I'm dude. from Jimtown. I'm from fucking... Uh, at one point, we lived on a houseboat in the fucking river. That's dope. On the Ohio, over in New Plaza. That's dope. Uh, my mom's house has always been there, right? So, way out in the sticks, west side, about a mile away from the river. Right, like Dogtown. Yeah, yeah, like Dogtown area. I've always, like, that's my grassroots. That's what I always call home because that was always, yeah. like, the consistency in my life. Whereas on my dad's side, because my parents never married, my dad had worked two jobs. He became mm-hmm. a workaholic uh, because he had to pay for child uh support and everything else so oh yeah, it, it, oh, yeah. i mean it, there, cheap, it wasn't dog. like ugly between my parents really but it just it well, was kind of everywhere div- you know I mean, they never married yeah yeah i was gonna say divorce uh, let me pump the brakes but like just like those weird situations that we find ourselves in where whether it's a divorce or you have a kid with somebody that you're not you didn't plan on marrying or you, you have no intention of marrying like it just gets sticky yeah you know what i mean it's never like perfect but yeah. um your dad's a nice enough guy and i don't know that i've met your mama I don't think. I don't uh, know that I ever you have. You probably have at my wedding or something. Maybe I did. Yeah. But I. No, but no your reception. dad. Your dad's a nice enough fella that I think that it would be amicable. Amicable. 
Yeah, I mean, there's definitely hard feelings here and there, but I mean, for the most part, my parents are cool. They yeah. can hang out in the same That's like, dope, place man. and get along, and they don't like hate it. Like my stepdad and my dad talk all the time. Like it's really cool. Like I honestly, it was the best. It's crazy. way of life for me. It's that, crazy how our parents' generation are getting over those kind of things. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, they're like their gener their their parents' generation necessarily didn't, but like our generation does in a way, right? Yeah, dude, it's weird. Like, the older we get, and then, like, the older you see your parents get, and then just, like, thinking about how shit used to be. And it, oh, dude. It it's, gets weird. It's wild. It gets weird. And now, okay, so anyway, so you don't really claim a side, but I feel like you're yeah, more of a I, West Side. Oh, I'm um, heart, heart and soul West Side, because that was always the consistency of my yeah. life. But, I mean, I, literally, with my dad, we lived everywhere. We lived on Red Bank. Uh, there's the, the church on Red Bank and Upper Mount Vernon. Oh, yeah, right no, there, that, there's a white concrete house across from that church. And I can't tell you how many times at night I'd sit up listening to the train. And then all of a sudden you'd hear, <laughs> there's a stop sign right there. And there's a little ditch right next to the uh-huh. church. And right in between the church parking lot, I don't know why, but people would always just get into this ditch. Like they get sucked off into this ditch and smoke the pole. It happened like five times while we lived there. It was probably, I think I it was called just somebody... Because I was drunk at a party once, and I was like, hey, man, I need a ride. Like, Meet me at this church. Little, no, I was like, I'm a little too lit over here, you know, on like Upper Mount Vernon. And they came back that way, and it was like raining, and they were flying around that corner, and they spun out and did like a 360 and like hit a mailbox or whatever. Wait, near that church? Yeah, I think at the like, yeah, spot Red he's talking Bank about. Yeah, Upper Mount Vernon. What? Yeah. Yep. I lived on 2nd Street. Here, in, uh, I lived on 2nd Street. Uh, That's insane, dude. Briefly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where else did you ever we? see somebody we get stabbed around down there? Every... I've seen a lot. <laughs> yeah, I've lived on. I think. Yeah, like, I lived until you like see two street, homeless people like... fight over a bunch of coke and throw their own feces at each other. That's, That's so pretty cool. Insane to me, though. Oh, dude, I was like five years old. That was cool. I would pay to watch that fight. By the way, like, I remember I got in my dad's car one time in the middle of like we used to live off of Florida yeah. Street. And I think oh, I, I started streets. my dad's car. And Bro, like, I've lived on all these streets. <laughs> you guys, oh, have, seriously, yeah. seriously I, I used to live on Second, like in Monroe, yep. down there downtown, yeah, like right off Riverside. Mm-hmm. And like my mom would let me walk to fucking uh, Zestos from there. Yep. And I'm like, yo, like looking back on it now, I'm like, yo, you're letting like a six year old walk from there. But I'd visit from downtown, Dude, and my I used dad to go to the lived on Florida by myself all the fucking time. Like Where? I would stumble into. Like old cinema because I was like five or six years old and I just go to the library like I was a loner dude I'd go to the library like, by myself I'd walk out with random shit like I was fascinated with old war like I was fascinated with Pearl yeah, Harbor dude, just as history. A kid. My, my dad yeah. lived on Covert across from those like shady apartments yeah. or whatever and he gave me like five bucks and like, yeah just go on down to book broker and. Just oh, get you yeah. whatever. Dude, I, go, I would just pick up a bunch of cheap random comics. Oh, and, dude, like, I, I think that's where I discovered Good Morning Vietnam at like five years old. Right. Like, the shit was awesome. Good I morning, loved Vietnam. Robin Williams. Yeah, dude. Classic. R.I.P., yes. dude. Literally, that guy was a legend. Rest in peace. God, and we lost, We uh, this earth lost a huge chunk when no, Robin. No, we as humanity lost a good human. Dude. They don't, there's not a lot of them. There's really not. Yeah, man. That I was, try to be the best human. That was I, rough. I try to wake up every day and be the best human I can. But yeah, there's there's days where we could yeah, all you, you know, know we're improve. Just, we're morning one guy, and not even the people lost in Vietnam, right? Dude, yeah, dude. Them. My old I, no, my old them, house, dude. my fuck neighbor them. was from Vietnam. Dude, that motherfucker was. Wait, you served in Vietnam? Eat my ass! No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I love all vets, by the way. <laughs> no, but like no, the uh, Vietnam guys don't even talk about the shit they saw. They, just because, like, when they got oh, home, yeah, everybody yeah, threw best. so much hate at them. I right. feel like that they just Mad shade. they don't even open up about any Mad of it. shade, dude. My uncle who just recently passed, RIP Uncle Melv, dude. Um yeah, he was eleven Bravo as well too. And uh he was just a beast, dude. Just a right. just a monster of a man. And when he passed, like a chunk of me left. We weren't even like he was he like you're just saying, he's not open at all. So we were never like close. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? But like we both knew that we were close. I don't get close to many people, and he's the same way, if not more so. But like, yeah, it was just when I lost him, and that was a chunk of me that that walked out the walked out the door that day. That sucked. But yeah, man, um, gnarly shit, man. So you were into history quite a bit as a kid. I just bounced around. That's a rough transition. Shit. I don't know how we just talked about my <laughs> uncle dying. We were like, yeah, so you liked World War Two, right? right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'd like yeah, dove fuck off my into uncle, dude. No, I'm just like kid, tearing man. up over here, like goddamn, dude. So you like history? <laughs> I really don't think I could figure myself out as a kid. Like finger I, yourself out, I, dude. I was a skater. I fucking like built all the biggest 
uh, you know, redneck fucking skateboard ramps. Like I lived and breathed skateboarding forever. Guitars. I, did I didn't know you skated. Electric guitar for years. Yeah, you still um, shred a little on the strings. Not much. I wish I had more time. I, I wish know, I try to pick it up and like put it in my way, so I have to physically pick it up and use it every now and then. But they just mostly collect us now. I did. Uh, man, I just did everything as a kid. I tried a little bit of everything. Never really got good. So like, a uh, thing. did. Did you go to did you, because your dad's side dad moved a lot? Did he keep you like in the West Side school system though? Okay, so I went to oh here we go. I went to Fucking check all the boxes. West Terrace, <laughs> oh, easy, bro. I went to West Terrace. I went to Perry Heights, and I went to Wrights. You're not now, the only one, by the way. Literally, so yeah. many people bumped that mic. Karate we, job. We got to figure it out. I think we need to make it taller. Maybe I don't know, but anyway. So you went to uh west terrace perry heights rides just straight on through oh that's not bad actually yeah, yeah. i thought you were gonna I mean, say we bounced around. around everywhere but i still always went to the same school but stayed with, west side fucked with the same people yeah <laughs> fucked with the same fifth graders. until high school after that i was like all right i, I talked to like one person from my yeah. graduating class so then like oh, the rest what was me. what was like the start of high school like because like i didn't i moved away from evansville in third grade and didn't come back till halfway through my junior year uh, yeah, where'd you move to again? Tuscaloosa no, or something? Uh, Greenwood, Indiana, like Cedar Yeah, that's Grove. right. Uh, but like, what was it like? Like when you started like going into like high school and like, you know, you're you, like you set up to high school. You were probably doing like skateboarding, the guitar, you know, all that stuff. What was it? Like? Yeah, like I'm, my middle school years, I just clashed myself with like I was just trying to figure out where I fit, I guess. And then when high school came around, all that got thrown out the window. And then all the people I thought were my friends, you. Right. You figure out real quick, pretty much aren't. So then you just develop new friends or die trying. And yeah, I, I'd fucked with like three people in high school and that was about it. The only, I, I, I didn't mess with anybody from rights. I really didn't. Most of the people I talked to were not from rights and North Gibson Southern. I spent most of my time in Gibson Southern and I did anything. So all the way through like Perry Heights, all the way through rights, you're still doing all like the, like trying to find yourself, trying to fig- like just just trying to generally just figure out like what it is you enjoy the most. So you're, that was like where you spent a lot of your like time of trialing and error and like eh. skateboarding, music, all yeah, this and that I and mean, the third music. I've always just been everywhere. I mean, it it could go from screamo to red hot chili peppers. But I mean, like your your hobbies to, though, your hobbies, oh, hobbies. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that the was one like, thing that I didn't get to do that kind of plays into like my later on life, like more present is like when I was a kid, all I ever wanted to do was fucking race shit. Like I spent all my time turning wrenches with my dad yeah. every time we and got we're gonna a chance. touch on that. Um, and. I, I, like, and, literally all I've ever been able to think of is mechanically. It's all I ever wanted to do ever since I was a kid was just be a mechanic. So I was going to say when I moved down here and we shared the same table at lunch and I, I believe you were doing that school program where you like, you would go work. Weren't you like in that program where you would like go work? Yeah. We had this T and I class. I, it, I mean, for me it was nothing just because I'd been doing it my whole life right, anyways. But but, I was just going to say we all hung out at like old Walmart or Walmart and we're oh, just like, yeah. And then you were around everybody that was like trying to like do this with their truck, do that with their truck. Oh, I was always it. at my car from high school would spit three foot, four foot flames out the exhaust. Oh, yeah. We used to light cigarettes off of my car in the parking lot. Also, rest in peace, Swamp Donkey, dude. Oh, uh, dude. I, if I had that truck in high school, I'd be dead. Oh, this wasn't high school years? No. Swamp Donkey was not? No. High school I got years. Swamp Donkey out of high school, and for which those, is sad. Explain who Swamp Donkey was for the for the. Swamp listener. Donkey was uh, this shitter old F-150 that was on <laughs> Put like that on mute. <laughs> 38 and a half. Uh, I thought I'd, we had this conversation, too. <laughs> Thought we covered this, bro. Dude, look, <laughs> this newbie. is fucking amateur hour. Look, it's probably my wife. Like, hey, what up, Dell? She said, uh, "Hey, what up, Dell? Let me get that you dick. up." <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. You up? No, <laughs> hit me up, dude. Swamp Donkey was just this really pivotal point in my life where I just took this absolute skank of a truck and I just daily drove it and just abused the shit out of it. Like, I was just at this really weird point in my life where. Me and say. my parents didn't get along. I didn't talk to anybody from my family. All I ran off of was bush light and fucking grilled cheese. Bush light, grilled cheese, and nicotine, you were, and You anger. were working at a diesel yes. shop at the time, right? No. So right out of high school, um, I was actually... So it, this is where everything gets... My, like, my whole life changed so fast, so quick, right out of high school. Um, so I actually tried to get in the military. Um, and that that didn't work for me. I was... 
set to go into, okay, so the plan was I was going to go to University of Northwestern Ohio, um, and that didn't happen. Uh, I set everything up, and long story short, like, somehow my parents canceled it and was like, yeah, we think you're paying too much and you're going too far away, so sucks to suck, bro. I thought I found it. I just had Swamp Donkey, like, in my grasp, and then I lost it. Are you on my Instagram? No, this is... Uh, That's my Instagram. So we're currently looking at your face, but here she is. Yes. Here here this beautiful bitch yes. is. Yes. That's on the beach. That's on Dam 48 on the Ohio River. I'm telling you, I used you, to man. drive my truck back through the woods. Those are 38s? And, uh, no, no, no those are 35, 1350 Thornbirds. 35. We used to have fires out there Dude. all the time. Hey, that's, that's the night after my windshield got kicked out by my ex-girlfriend. Dude, that's a good looking. I took okay. Look, so that's it's a good a, looking it's, truck. It's my lady's birthday, right? I'm like, hey, you know what? Florida Georgia Line's in, or somebody. I was like, hey, I'm gonna take you, and we're gonna go. And this is Swamp Donkey all cleaned up. Mm-hmm. And uh, up. this was a, a mud truck that got just used and abused. Are those a five Mi- speed truck with like three working gears? Are those Mickey Thompson slots? So those are if it's on the Mickey. I think those are still Thornbirds, but oh, it was on Mickey Thompson Baja Claws. It was on 15 inch rims. That were, I don't know how wide they were, but it was on 16, they were 16 and a half inches wide and they were 3850s. Oh, yeah. And Mickey that Thompson thing would go anywhere. Tires. What am I thinking of? American Short Racing. bed, five speed, 302, thinking. and that, dude, that thing would go anywhere. The 302 was up It was made, and it was, I mean, it was geared down drastically. It was like a 456 in the rear. You couldn't, like, if it breathed in the rain, that truck was all over the place. It was like <laughs> driving a Mustang on drag slicks. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I went backwards down Red Bank Hill trying to get to the bank when it would rain, leaving Lens. Oh, what was that? Shit would happen all the time. Oh, just ignore that. Kristen, quit Brent, send and Brian shit. <laughs> yeah, cut it We're out. We're in a podcast. Cut it out, babe. Um, Come up here and say something. Say it to my face, bro. So, after high school, uh, you just kind of... Yeah, what happened You kind of just went on your own way and were... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what happened was is I tried to go to University of Northwestern Ohio. That shit didn't happen. Um, so my friends ended up doing it and then came back. They fucking... They over a girl, do. stupid motherfuckers. But anyways, so that didn't happen. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to get my shit self into some shit my parents can't get me out of. Because me and my parents weren't getting along at the time. Um, so I tried to get in the Air Force. And lo and behold, I lied about everything. And they are like, yeah, you ended up having a surgery. And uh, I had like asthma as a kid. And so I lied about all that shit. And they were like, yeah, we figured that out. You're not coming. And I'm like, fuck. So then I Damn, hung out dude. with Lens. And Lens was like, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll send you to school, you know, if you take some classes and this and that. So... I spent like four years of my life there, and I i mean, granted, we had an absolute blast. I did everything. Built engines, built boats, redid stringers. I mean, you name it. I was, I could take an engine out of a boat and replace, you know, pull an engine and put it back in within a couple of hours. And it, I mean, we had a blast. I had a great crew there. Um, it just didn't end up working out in the long run. I ended up buying a diesel truck. I had my first diesel. I sold my car and my crotch rocket to get my first diesel truck. Because uh, one time I had Swamp Donkey, I yeah. had the black car, Black Bamba, and then right. I had my crotch rocket. And then I Damn. went 100 mile an hour through somebody's front yard at like 1 in the morning and somehow kept the crotch rocket upright. And after that, I was like, that's got to go. <laughs> I was doing like 160 mile an hour wheelies up St. Joe, getting pulled over on Christmas. And <sighs> yeah, it was bad news. So I got rid of that this before I died. This is high school. Yeah, that's why I actually got back onto the dirt. That's why I race now. It was because of the crotch rocket. I figured it was a lot easier to hit dirt than asphalt. So. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I missed riding motocross. So. Yeah, when you hit dirt's a little more forgiving. It still fucking hurts, though. I never got to pursue like my motocross dreams when I was a kid. That's all I ever wanted to do. I went from a 50cc to a 100cc to a 252 stroke at like six years old. My dad was like, oh, he brought home this like 250 RMZ one day. He's like, here you go. The only downside to it, though, is like... If you want to get into professional racing, you have to be damn, damn good or start when you're like four. Oh, like, yeah. There's just the training camps and stuff that they do nowadays to be competitive. You've got to start right away. Yeah. And the like physical. And the Stasic bikes are bringing it to a whole nother level. Cause I, I don't know what that means. So they're like electric powered, like little scooters. And it's like a bicycle without uh, pedals. And they're electric powered. And dude, the development kids can get uh, as far as like um, with their balance. It's, oh, really? it's absolutely, dude, there's like five year olds like they just ride them on the road on Stasics now. 
They it's ride them on the road? Everywhere. Like on the dirt. Like there's people with like a five-year-old on a Stasic with like a full out moto track in the back and they're just out here tripping. Yeah, dude. Shit. Have you seen like, well, even just in general, these kids on the hoverboards, like it's so crazy how quick a kid can pick up a hoverboard and then like you would bust your ass probably so many more times. I mean, I wouldn't kid. because I'm an athlete, but yeah. Ass feet. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> My feet don't smell great. All right, today. so I don't know where we were. But then, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So, so then, yeah, okay, you get rid so of the crotch after lens, I got, I got rid of all that shit. Um, so what happened was, is I left lens. I ended up getting my first diesel truck. I didn't know shit about diesels, but uh, it was kind of like a family heirloom to me, whatever. So I get it. I dump like all the money. Like by the time I got rid of this truck, I had like fourteen grand in it. Mm. Uh, oh, dude, I re- restored everything. I mean, you seen it? It was. A, Are we talking about the ninety four? Yeah, the ninety six. Yeah. Or the ninety six? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I get that. I didn't know shit about it. So I ended up finding a guy I knew that I kind of went to high school with. Didn't really know much about him, uh, but I basically was just like, "Hey, man, I don't know shit about diesels. Can you help me out?" Like I had a problem with it, and he come over and helped me out a little bit. And he he was like, you know, if you want to know more, you know, holler at me. So hit me up. I ended up hitting him up one day. I was like, look, dude, I don't know shit about diesels. Like, can I just come hang out at your shop and you guys like teach me stuff? And he's like, yeah, I guess. So I was like, I'll do work for free. So I ended up pulling. Do we not want to disclose who this individual is? Nah, it's fine. Oh. But so I ended up spending like, I like it's how I got my job at Zips. I literally spent probably the better part of half a year. I would go work. 40 hours plus, you know, 40, 50, 60 hours a week at Lids. But Mm -hmm. every time I got off of work, instead of going home, because at one time I lived with like a group of guys, like I I rented for years. And then eventually all my roommates sold all my shit, like pawned it, fucking weren't paying their bills. So I ended up moving back home with mom and dad just to make ends meet till I could save and buy a house. So that's where my old house came from is I saved up money living with mom and dad, saved up like 10 grand and bought that place. Yeah. Uh, not but, a bad joint either, man. No, no, I, I made joint. out like a bandit. I ended up making like fifty grand off of it after the housing market went up. Yeah, that's what's but, up. But uh, no, I mean that that was basically like my segue into there. So I just I would get off work after working in Lens all day, and instead of going home or drinking at the bars and shit, I would go pull forty hours a week at night over there and just help them rebuild engines, learn about the different you know injection systems. You know, mechanical, two stroke, <laughs> CP3, uh, you know, a little bit of everything. It's pretty insane. Common like, rail, Huey. I mean, you were pretty mechanically inclined previously, like with two strokes, four strokes. Oh, I was building um, engines gas. before I could walk. Like you were really, really into it already. But it's funny. A lot of people don't realize like how much compression makes a difference. And when you go from firing gasoline or petroleum in a cylinder to well, and think about how many times to it's, diesel. Think about how many times it's fired in that cylinder too. Right, but my point is just the pure at the the, oh, the power of compression. Is no, no, I'm just I'm just referencing the the amount of like the vast difference in knowledge you have to have to be good at gasoline motors and then good at diesel motors, like. Oh, and I, I, I hit every nail in between. They're wildly different. Gasoline. Cause Motor I, only, obviously. Transmissions are alike all across the board for the most part. But, so, yeah, like diesel to gas is like two totally different fucking worlds. Oh, so it lends like I had to work between two-stroke outboards, four-stroke outboards, mm-hmm. yeah. four-stroke inboards, four cylinders, six cylinders, yeah, yeah, eight yeah. cylinders. And then we'd work on race stuff. So racing outboards. You ever do like a 10 strokes. or a 12? 10 or 12 uh, cylinder? No, there's no V10s, really. They didn't really start coming out with V10s and V12s and shit. Uh, back then, they had just started going to like 350 horsepower supercharged inline sixes right, right, on right, the right, back, right. and they were starting to put duels on pontoons, and pontoons were getting to the point where they do like 55, 60 with dual 350s on the back, Verados. Uh, I toured Mercury's whole facility up in Wisconsin, uh, toured their racing division. Uh, I used to build all kinds of engines for Lens all the time. We did um, supercharged engines. I mean, you name it, we did it. And we really didn't mess with a whole lot of turbo stuff back then. There um, are some guys that run diesel yeah. on, on their boats, though. Or, like, on just these recreational crafts, obviously. Have you seen that before? Have you gotten to work on one of those? Like a diesel motor in a recreational boat? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, there's multiple times that I traveled around with Zippy. We'd go through, you know, at, down to Bon Or, Tennessee, uh, just a little bit everywhere. We'd go to Florida. Well, we used to, yank, you know, uh, 
engines, uh, full in- engines, like we'd have to crane them out from the doorways, take chainsaws to million dollar fucking yachts and yank engines out uh, with a crane. Damn. And we're talking, you know, 14, 15 liter fucking diesel engines from mm. yachts. Um, we're talking diesel engines out of uh, barges. Yeah. You no, absolutely. It. And I was thinking more of like, um, you ever seen like power? You ever seen a diesel in a Ranker fifteen foot? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've seen somebody twelve valve swap something that like yeah, currently had those, a three fifty in it. They got those uh, like the BMW like Jetta that's like diesel or some shit like yes. that. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's some there's some wild guys that did some shit back then. Um, there was a guy with a Passat. I forget it was like fleece or something. Back when uh, a buddy of mine, Kelby Shamden, he kept eating turbos on a six seven Cummins. And uh, have you seen that guy? The that guy from Cummins Fleece let him borrow his car. It was like a four cylinder Passat that had like right. some wild ass turbo on it, making like four hundred <laughs> horsepower. It's fucking <laughs> wicked. Have you seen that Mustang that somebody put a Cummings in? Oh, uh, the, the Cummings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they put a Cummings and yeah, Cummings. The guy put a twelve valve and. <laughs> yes, they, they yeah. put a twelve valve in yeah. a fucking Mustang. And it's actually pretty badass. Yeah, the cum stains. Now, it's it, red. Yeah, it, I've literally. Seen it. I have yes. seen it. It's it takes red. nothing to get one of those to run, dude. And I'll tell you the great a thing: a battery and a fuel source. That's the great it. and a th- screwdriver. The, the, my favorite thing about the Mustang, and it's been a trend since the eighties. Sixteen-year-old girls buy them. Yes, but also and thirty-two-year-old bald Caucasian males. Um. <laughs> But no, my favorite thing about the Mustang is that, like, since the 70s, since they got away from that weird fucking body, the, mock? the weird mock they did in the 70s. Dude, my dad loves mocks. They're dude, hideous. I, I hate them. But I, me, let me, I love my dad, let but me fuck make, those things. Let me make this point, dude. Cool the, the thing I love the most about the Mustang is that they find a way to make the body less and less and less. Like, the prime example is the Fox body. They put a fucking 302 in a car that was, like, yeah. Seven feet I have long. A five zero fox body, dude. Um, dude gotta, that is so much. Pay tribute. That is so many ponies for a car that's six feet long. Yeah, like they Mustang, like Ford has done really. They call them crowd killers for a reason. Yeah, like Ford has done a and really have one good at 17, job. I'm surprised to be alive. You know, Ford has always done a good job with the Mustang of lessening and lessening the frame and the body and just making it as tight and compact as possible as compared to like the Camaro is a close runner up, but like you can't put the Challenger in the same party. See, I got lucky. I was in the imports when I was in high school. Like I think yeah, one day were. in seventh grade, I woke up seeing a Super Street mag, and then for like the next Did- four years, I had Super. Street magazines every month. Was it you that the 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 like canine jumped on like yeah, the, the and scratched up that you heard of your car and they searched your vehicle and there was nothing in it? Yeah, there was nothing. Like, granted, I probably had some shit in it like the week before, but the the canine unit came to like do a drug search at the fucking school and the goddamn dog was on top of my car in the parking lot and I got like a '90s JDM as fuck FC that's like <sighs> perfect mint condition. I just went and bought a Turbo 2 hood for it that you can't find. Like, they don't fucking exist. And I found one and put it all on it. And, like, lo and behold, <laughs> days later, there's this fucking... Did they pay for the damage? No. no what the... F- no. Fuck. Dude, I was pissed. Like, Bro, there wasn't can... even anything in it. And he just let the dog walk all up over my shit. They can, I... they can, like, cut your seat open and everything and not find anything and not have to pay for it. I had an eighth at school that day. And they didn't even. I, I didn't even like smoke smoke weed or anything back then. Like I would like occasionally skip class and like smoke said, weed back with my then, friends so, or something. So just so we're, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, recreationally, you know, um, I kind of got one of those jobs where I just kind of had to pass the first one, and then after that, they were like, "All right, cool." Dude, and, my work doesn't care anymore. Well, I I go to Illinois all the time, so I go to Chicago all the time. Now. Oh yeah, and they don't give a shit. No, no, absolutely. That's like, like they're in the hey. board, they're in the boardroom. Like, dude, that's up. like going to McDonald's for people. Yeah, up there in they're Chicago, like, Little Wayne, you can get his strand up there. Jesus, dude, dude, I've had some pretty good shit from Chicago. Chicago. Dude, I there. honestly am gonna start looking for a new job. Uh, I get Snapchats. Yeah. You can race all the time, and they all look <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> We're like two fucking chimps in a cage, dude. Right. Just wild animals ready to be let loose, dude. All right, where did we leave off? Um, I think we were talking about the Asians. <laughs> so uh, you were d- working on diesel cars. Oh, okay. Or not cars, but okay, uh, so trucks. We kind of got into it. He's talking yeah, about Lens. So I left Lens. Like, so I had to verse myself. I, I, versed, like, I was into rotaries when I was a kid. That's all I wanted. <laughs> 
Gross. then I got into, you know, dirt bikes. And then mm-hmm. it was like, you know, at Lens, I had to know two strokes, four strokes. I had to build V8 engines. And then, you know, I transferred from boats to cars. And I turned something I loved into something I hated, which was boats, because I used to love the water. I've been on the water since I was four months old. And uh, so then I started pulling all these hours. And eventually at Zips, they give me a job because I pulled so many late night hours over there, helping them just to learn for free yeah. knowledge. I just yeah, yeah, worked yeah. my ass off. And eventually they're like, dude, do you want a job? And I was like, yeah, kind of. <laughs> so they gave me more than what I was asking. Hey, do you just want to like yeah. stop fucking showing up? Yeah, they're like, dude, do you just want to fucking work you? here? Yeah, because <laughs> I started doing shit for them. Like they would bring, so I started doing all their little boats while they did a lot of the big boats. And I dude, like we combined knowledge, and that was really of, cool. Lots for of me. street racing out on uh, the highway to USI and Dogtown. Dicey. Yeah, dicey for sure, dude. I know like six people that have died on that highway. Yep. Um, IP, dude. So, yeah, I traveled around working on boats and cranes and power plants and yachts. And I mean, you name it. I was, I mean, that was the fun part I liked about being a diesel you, mechanic was playing with death every day. You said you, you worked on, uh, or, or, or you, not worked I've worked on, on, obviously, you've worked on boats a huge amount, like we were just speaking about, but uh, with lens and zips. But my question is, have you ever, like, because you spend a lot of recreational time on the water, have you ever seen somebody not put the fucking plug in? And like got to watch it happen. I did it multiple times. <laughs> it it only stop. It only hurts if you stop. It like it only sinks if you stop. It, like it, it was a running thing at Lens is we'd always yeah. keep plugs in the door because if you took a customer's boat down yeah. and you forgot a plug and you had to make the drive back, like the drive of shame, like that you just wasted thirty minutes that you could have been fucking doing something. Yeah, you get your you ass chewed out. And you don't. Yeah. If you forget a plug, you don't go back to the shop. You go and drive that fucking boat anyways. <laughs> you fucking send it. No, I, I'm not kidding. Don't stop. You don't stop. <laughs> the faster you drive, it, it'll suck the water right out of the hole of the boat. But the second you stop, it's going in. You ever seen somebody who's probably not like maybe a renter or something just sink one? That, that, uh, that was no, I, I haven't at. seen anybody sink one. There was this thing where uh, we got really... I'm not going to drop names here, but... Uh, there was some boat on boat action, <laughs> some collisions out on the water while I was, uh, yeah, it, it was, I wasn't involved with it, but <laughs> some of our, some of our crew got a little too hammered one this night isn't... and then tried to make it back to the ramp and ended up like, maybe don't say which one it was. Zips yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not saying anonymous. any of them. Yeah. But long story short, it was a good friend of mine. You actually probably know him. I'll bring him uh, up later, but I think so. Did he get a DUI from the event? Oh yeah. yeah the, well, it wasn't an event, up. but yeah, that that night he he was out on the water and he was cruising. He was drunk and he was trying to get back home and uh, he was on his way back to the river camp or whatever. And uh, somebody was out there on the water and you know how you're supposed to have your light up like your light pole. They didn't have a light pole and he just he's trying to plane off and so he's front in the air and just smoke somebody and, like took their shit out. Oh my god! Like split this motherfucker in half. No, he didn't. Yeah. Did anybody die? Like broadside him. No, luckily not. But broadsided the shit out of him. You're getting aggressive with those hands dude, over there. I, I know, dude. <laughs> I don't know I'm jittery. Like I'm fucking sitting. I, don't I'm be jittery. I'm drinking a Red don't Bull. Don't be jittery. Do you want a, would you like a cerveza? Would that chill you out? Do you want a bush latte? <sighs> yeah, yeah. It's just one. Yeah, yeah. I'll take a latte. Just not not with the left hand. In the, in the course of the right. There it is. All right. Same time. Dude, look at that, dude. God bless you, both of you, and and you know what? I miss you guys so much. Um, I haven't seen I Thomas in like in uh, six hours. So, right. but I miss. I think there's actually a napkins or a towel down there. If I got you wet, I'm sorry, dude. No, you're good. We're good. Um, what up, Lee White? <laughs> Shout out to my Lee racing White, buddy. Dude. He gave me a koozie of him. Shout out to Lee White, man. Right, he's a great dude. He's doing it right. So then, okay so, okay, so so we, we we okay. So now you're at Zips and you're doing the Zip thing full time, and you're going to be really gentle with those hand gestures. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so after Zips, basically, I transitioned in this really weird part of my life where oh, I didn't know what the freak I was doing, and I was still screwed up with women. I had no idea what yeah. my ass was from yesterday. Yeah, you didn't know your ass from and, your elbow. No. And uh yeah, long story short, um I ended up getting the dump truck, doing all the Zach's hauling stuff for a few years. Um, you know, twenty two went full time for myself until what, twenty five, twenty six or so when COVID hit in twenty twenty. Yeah, not long ago. Yeah. I mean I mean I went full on from, you know, making thirty thousand dollars a year working from small business to small business to small business, turning wrenches, you know, kind of developing my own program. Uh, and everywhere I went I gained knowledge, you know, I went from it just 
everywhere. I, you added a tool. To I'm like a tool sponge tool. when it comes to mechanical shit. If I can learn it, I'm going to find it. I, I like mean, to think you're talking you... to somebody that's built fucking. I mean, at one point when I was with Zips and my buddy Tyler, I mean, we ended up literally, he ended up owning his own company at the same I did. And yeah, his kind of went downhill at some point. And we're not going to get into all the gist of that, but we did some really cool shit and we really built some really cool shit. I mean, you guys seen my gray pickup. I used to build show trucks for, you know, literally shows. Are and you that, talking about the 250? That was, a, that was yeah, like a 2004? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one night stand? Yeah. Yeah, the 2004, yeah, it, was, it was an 03, I put an 06 front end on it. It was like yeah. 500 had, horsepower, 7.3 liter. 120,000 miles, but I mean, it was done up from the ground up, powder dude, coat, that was fucking a hot everything. Bitch, dude. Yeah, that was a hot dude, bitch. Dude, I wish I'd have let you drove it. Oh Ball bearing turbo, I'm all so that shit. Mad. It was mean. Automatic, though. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. I, yeah, I wish it was a six speed, but I, I didn't know, man. The, I should have converted the gears on that, but the seven three six speed is if you've never driven one, I drove a ninety They're terrible. I drove a ninety nine. A G fifty six, the the transmissions are garbage. Like the Z F five C F six, I like I, I don't I don't mind the they're one terrible I, to drive, but they're really easy to work on. No, but okay, so I'll say this and then we'll leave this topic alone. But like I I drove uh Steinkamp had, yep, had his a, red one. No, this is a white one. This is an old shitty farm truck. Old shitty. Uh, this wasn't anything special, but it was. Oh. A, it was a ninety nine seven three six speed, and dude, it was like it was like you could sneeze on the clutch and bop, throw it in. Like it did not matter. It was almost like driving. Oh, a, I don't drive with a clutch pedal. <clears throat> yeah, it was so easy. I'm to drive. the same way with for my someone quad. who barely drives a clutch. Okay, like yeah. I'm okay. I'm not. I don't claim to be like an expert. I can teach somebody, and then like you're on your own. But I pretty much taught myself. No one ever taught me. Um, but with that truck, dude, it was like you could just feather it in, and it would just glide right into two, glide into three, glide into four, and it was just like it would just go, and it wouldn't stop. That seven three on a standard, dude. I, I taught myself to speed shift from like I literally like my first car was an eighty five RX seven that was carbureted. Carbureted rotaries have like zero bottom end; they're all top end, so <laughs> yeah. they were just the worst thing. Like I remember talking shit to some guy at a stoplight. My shit like died because it was carbureted. <laughs> Yeah. Then I just sat there looking like a jackass. Like I had to tell my buddy to like, I had to tell shitter potty in the middle of St. Joe to get out and like put my battery cable back on. Like I, I changed plugs in the fucking school parking lot. I don't know how many times it's fucking terrible. I bounced around to so many mechanical fucking things. So, it's okay. Insane. So anyways, all right. So you, so you get to zips and then, and then you and do then that. I did the dump truck shit. Yeah. So then we do the dump truck stuff and, you've been, I, and you did that for six years. Yeah. Five years. So September of 2016 is when I got the dump truck. I moved all that remedial dirt for the government. So EPA. Four years. Yeah, I yeah, went yeah. from like making 30 grand a year to like 50 grand a year. Thought I was hot shit. Um, 50, hey, 50K a year. That's doable. That's nice. It was nice. And when then you're, I when really you're expanded. So oh. then I started getting, uh, I had somebody working for me and then I expanded. I had somebody run the gravel side of things when I got the semi. Um, mm-hmm. I, my yeah, wife was multiple, working as an EMT at the time. You had multiple and we trucks, weren't married yeah. yet, uh, but she was working. Uh, we were all working opposite shifts. So she's working second shift, third shift, and I was working first shift. So I picked up a job on second shift at Barry Plastics. I didn't have anything oh, better see, to do. Oh, see, I didn't do. know that. Yeah, so I worked at Barry Plastics for almost a year. Uh, wow, did you or, hate that or no? Oh, yeah, I absolutely <laughs> hated it. Like, work, I, I literally, I was like, why the fuck? Or no, I wasn't even a year. It was like four months or something, and... Uh, I work there. Why do there. people do this? I work there. Well, <laughs> I work there just to fill time because I never seen my wife and I didn't like being at home alone. So then it was just to fill time and gain money. Yeah. And were they you were going to give me a truck shifts? drive. Yeah, they were going to give me a truck driving job.